So I want you to think about this. I call you. I'm a buyer. I'm thinking about purchasing a $1.5 million home in Fremont, right? You tell me we're going to hop on a call. How can we, all of us, all of us, every single person on this call, I don't care who you are, how can we best prepare in the coming months? And I'm going to give you a cheat code and I'm going to give you some things, but then I want to open the mic up. I want to hear from you guys. So if you haven't taken any notes up to this point, I'm going to highly recommend that you take some notes. So a buyer high note, right? Each of you have high note if you're on this, this call and if you're on the team. If you're not on the team, talk to your brokerage or talk to me about born, uh, joining our brokerage and I'll hook you up on high note. You should have a buyer high note that has your intro video, have some explanation videos, have some educational videos, have this beautiful catalog of all the things that you do, off-market opportunities, everything housed in one beautiful place that you can share with the consumer. And before you get on that first call with them, you send that. That way you can see how much time they're spending in each section. That way you can tailor your presentation based on their education level and what they spent most time on reading. Buyer's console, or excuse me, buyer high note. Each of you should be creating a catalog of videos on disclosure review, comps, how you look at comps, how you pull comps, and then all the reports. How does a consumer know how far you dive into a general home inspection, a pest report, a roof report, seller disclosures? Can you answer some of those questions prior to them even getting on that initial call with you to sign the BRVC? Have they been able to be like, wow, Jess, I didn't realize you did all of these things. Yeah, I take this really serious because I know how important this purchase is for you and your family. Example of a summary that you create of all the findings on the reports and the disclosures, right? It's one thing to share with them how you break down the reports, but also in another video or in another sheet, you say, this is a sample of what I would do to break down all of the things that we covered in those reports. Here's a summary. Here's your section one. Here's your action items. Here's the life expectancy of a roof. I'm going to provide that every single time you see a home. That way you understand everything that you need to know and all the material facts of said property. All your platforms need to be current. Every single platform needs to be current. I'm talking about your LinkedIn, your Google, your uh, link, uh, excuse me, your Google, your LinkedIn, your Facebook, your Google profile. Every single thing needs to be current. And if I haven't said this before, I'm going to say this again. I'm going to say this loud for everyone in the back of the room. If you're not on social media, showing your value in a unique, personal way, you guys, you are going to miss. Because if I could go online right now and I have three realtors, one has tons of videos, tons of education, tons of human, one's like so-so, or one that I can't even find a picture of and all they post is some bullshit ass generic stuff that I could find on someone else's page. Guess what? I'm going with number one. I'm going with number one. I know, I know that I train, coach, and, and develop you guys on social media at a very, very high level. I do it because I believe in you and I believe in you building your own brand and identity and giving a client the ability to see that they're safe and that they're educated before they even choose to work with you. You guys, it's separation season. You're either going to separate yourself or you guys are going to get left behind. Um, master your buyer's consultation. Master it. You need to understand that buyer's consultation, give people sneak peeks of what to expect when they go through a buyer's consultation with you. That needs to be masterful, masterful. Because here's the thing, you guys, each of you that are on this team or have been coached, trained, and developed in this world, each of you have an advantage because I promise you, there are agents out there right now, good agents that don't even do buyer's consultations. I promise you. I promise you there's tons of agents out there right now that are not doing buyer's consultations. They're resting on their laurels and think, I don't need to do it. I talked to them in the driveway. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. So those are some things that I could recommend that you do right now to better prepare for the road ahead.